I mean, now that I'm seeing a lot of the world, thank you, Europe Land, uh, I can absolutely see how this game was originally is and it's still called overseas sonic world adventure which yep. i'm not going to mince words i mean sonic unleashed as a title itself is fine but i kind of wouldn't have minded if, if all around it was just called world adventure because that's kind of the point of the game yeah. is this is this supposed to be like do you think it's because like or maybe that's the point is with the title like that is this supposed to be connected to the dreamcast adventures i doubt i kind of doubt that but i mean I don't know. I think the only reason why they call it, they call it Sonic Unleashed here is to give more prominence to the Werehawk stuff, which again, take the mileage will vary. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now that we're here at uh, Spagonia, our mission here is to go to is to go find Professor Pickle, and uh, so from the sounds of it, it looks like uh, maybe you should head over to the university. On and on, and, uh, we're, and we're going to him because he's the he is the premier uh, expert. On, yes, I'm aware the plant's coming apart. He is the premier expert on all of the weird goings-ons around here, and somehow a human being that Tails looks up to intellectually. Also, it should be said, um, since we haven't brought it up yet, uh, the human designs in Sonic Unleashed. They were really nice. I, I was going to say, like, I almost... This is like, I like this more than the photorealistic ones in 06, and honestly, I would not oh, have yeah. minded if the new Donk residents looked like these in... What? what? Professor oh. Pickle's been kidnapped? Uh-oh. It was uh -oh. a little bit before the tremors hit. Hey, wait a minute. You sound wait. just like me. And a, and a whole pack of robots. They carry I love how he just described Pickle Eggman as being the huge, mustachioed, and fat. I mean, that fits sure the bill. Like Eggman. What a horrible thing to do. We've got to go help that professor guy out. And fast. Really? If he got kidnapped that long ago... He's gotta be real hungry by now. Also, get used to this, folks. That's pretty much Chip's main characteristic. He always thinks about food. Yeah. Also this. Yeah. Oh! 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 Um. Oh boy! How about the experience? He's also particularly more cartoony than anything else yeah. in this world. He really is. Which, I mean, when you actually get- to, when you start to learn more about Chip, it does kind of make sense. <coughs> also- As it sounds. And I- and also, I I hope to make you, the... By the way, I hope you like Spagonia, because we're about to leave Spagonia. Goodbye. Oh, jeez, Tails, what? Freak, stop freaking out. Like, stop. Anyway, also, I, also, I, I, I'm pretty sure the com I'm pretty sure somebody's made the joke already, but I love the idea that Tails was like, don't worry, Professor Pickle, he, Eggman wouldn't keep Professor Pickle from going hungry. He's not that cruel. And I'm like, Tails, he blew up, Tails, he blew up half the moon as a warning shot. Well, no, once. what I was about to say, not even that. It's like, I'm sure he's not that cruel. Did you not see the beginning of the game where he pretty much cracked the devil damn planet open like a chestnut? And remember that, that one, and, and you remember the one time when he literally tried to blow up the entirety of Station Square with a miss missile? Oh yeah, and then when it was a dud, he was gonna just go over and finish the job himself. It was just... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, push, Son, I'm pretty push, sure he's push, a bad push, push, push the hard-boiled hay hard enough and he'll go to any lengths. Which, I, I mean, mean, once he actually does go to those lengths, it's really one of those cases where... It's either done great or it's e or it's done a little too try hard. Stay tuned for uh, or and or go look up James Man Extreme Sonic Lost World to see thus examples. Anyway, oh, yeah. so I mean to be fair, there's one thing I'll always give Sonic Lost World. I think it did Egg Games characterization really damn well. In fact, I'd argue he is pretty much more the main character in that game than Sonic is. Yeah. So let's see what we're to we're see we're happened to that Sonic guy? I mean, what's he been up to lately? And those rumors were true. What rumors? Oh, Missouri. 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 That's all the way up. That's like a, that's like halfway across the halfway across the world, lady. You learned I was about to say in Missouri. I was about to say that's not, that sounds like it's that sounds like it's right in the middle of the country. Not that Missouri. Uh. <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah the just like that, we, we're gonna have to say goodbye to good old Spagonia. But don't worry, we'll be back here before you know it. In the meantime, we're heading off to Africa. I mean Missouri. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Because that's, down in cause, cause that's <laughs> the thing. It's like even though they're very clearly based on real world locations, they never call them by real world names. Which I think does help. It does help give this game a more timeless feel than well, if you were to give them re actual real life locations. Yeah. Wait until we see. Wait until we see a moment when there's no longer a San Francisco, and then the Sonic movie's gonna look really silly. To, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. To, well, hey, welcome to Missouri, everybody. Where is the leader? Come on, we need to find a professor guy. Strange new building I, I, on the outskirts. I, I don't. 
I can't remember. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna check out that thing on the outskirts then. Doesn't sound like it's gonna be too friendly. What do you have to say? Oh, oh okay, uh, he's just insane. Yeah, yeah he's acting really strange. Oh, dear. He's got he's the got same the ghost mist as the other guy from, uh, what's from that Apatos. place called Yeah, the, 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 ice, the ice cream guy. Apodos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that, I, that's I, gonna be that's gonna be a little thing you need to keep an eye out later. Oh yeah, again, it, it does serve a very small time gimmick. It would you stop? Uh, okay, I see what you. Oh, doing. it's choice based. Right. Yeah, there is some dialogue in this, but I not mean, too much. they do sort of go far. Uh, do they do go fairly far with this stuff, even though it's not that much more complicated than your typical text-based adventure game. And I'm also going to say, for anybody wondering, no, I'm not doing all of that. I'm not doing, I'm not helping all those people with the clouds over their heads. Oh, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't bother with that stuff unless you really want to go for, like, 100% completion or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, for a game like this, 100% completion is a heck of a mouthful. Yeah. Oh, and as you're seeing here, um, more oh. so, as you're seeing here, more so than most Sonic games, we saw a little bit of a preview of it in Apato, in Apatos or Apotos. Apatos. But here... Apatos. But here you're seeing that uh, there, are all, there are also these quote unquote level select stages. I don't know. I never actually knew what to do with tea. the tea. I, cl I collect a lot of tea, but I never knew what to do with it actually. Well, you know, just boil it, put in some lemon juice and sugar. That, he means within the context of the game. <laughs> I know! I was I being funny! What. Come on! Okay, man. Um, I think I can, I can give this all enough explanation. So yeah, every once in a while you'll find some random food based items that you can, that for the most, like, it's with occasions, occasions like that, you always give it to Chip, and you'll have a certain comment to say about it, because it, it, it all ties to, like, this this sort of unexplained aspect of the game, where which involves Chip's attitude or mood or whatever. Basically, give him the kinds of food that he likes, and he, he'll reward you greatly for him. Oh. Okay, well, just most of, most of, most, yeah. The most obvious of which are um, three special videos that you can unlock. Oh yes, uh, those ones require purchasing a lot of food, and I will be showing off all of those and how to unlock them. Uh, also, also, before it escapes my mind, like earlier, it's like, it's, I was like, that's not what he meant, you mooch. I was like half close to calling you a moron, but I couldn't bring myself to insult you. Don't call. We're not morons. Oh, we're hi. oh hi. We're, if, we're, if you really, if you don't want to, if you, if you want to, if you want to do do it, on, do it, do that on a on a more kindlier note, just call her a maroon. Maroon. <laughs> Or a dork. I do like the color maroon. Not that maroon. I forgot that was so, actually. Ah, oh, come oh. on! Spooky. Wow. Whoa, hello! Oh, what happened to his whoa. face? Whoa! I'm okay. The hell? I'm I think, okay. I think Sonic. emulation is a little bit finicky. <laughs> Sonic, Just that's there. a... Shit. Yes, Sonic? Don't ever feed me whatever chocolate you, you tend to give to people ever again. That was M and M's and a lot of no. Okay, so <laughs> yes, I, that did happen. And bet in the odd thing, in my entirety playing this game, it really only happened there. And it's gonna happen at the very end when we get our grade rank. Everywhere else, it was still perfectly fine. Textures are fine, as you're seeing. Textures are fine here. I, I'm guessing he just. I'm guessing like before the level, he just accidentally f f fell into a puddle of mud. Puddle of but mud, I or ha or had a little too much of chips chocolates. But I will absolutely admit that that's... I, like, jumped when I was recording, like, the fu What? That's why you had me look as... Something weird here? But, yeah, no, again, everything else is still running more or less as it should be. Just more... And, and, oh, the other thing you're gonna notice is that... Even though there a lot of enemies will be spawning, you can actually skip a lot of fights if you know what to do or how to escape a room. The only down, the only thing, the only thing to figure out is which enemies to avoid and which ones you do need to fight. Yeah. But the game never makes it clear enough on which is which. Oh, egg bots. Oh, they're What are they oh, doing here? I mean, well, this. What, what do you think? This makes sense to me because what we're doing is we are still trying to save Professor Pickle from Eggman, so we're going to Eggman's base. Oh, you're so right. We must be getting close. What we're the? Already seeing Wait a minute. Oh, you done fluffed up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that is not a right thing now. from. Shit! Now is not the time. Whoa, jeez. Okay. Whoa, got him. goodness. Sorry okay, so, about that, that. so that wasn't just me. That was my bad. I think I may have left that one in that little one in there. My apologies. But what you saw there with why that messed up uh, that combo is one thing I don't like that they brought back from game from Gears of War a little bit is when you are doing a finishing combo on an enemy, if you mess up your finishing combo, 
it outright, you know, you'll take damage, it throws you off, and then it maintains all the health back that you had dealt to it. Sorry guys, I gotta go. Aww. Oh, I gotta go back right now, so I'll see you later. Alright, see you. Care, CD. Saving audio, bye. Bye. Hi. But I was gonna say, oh, those flowers you okay. just fought, punched, I don't think they were in the Wii version, were they, Steve? Not to my recollection. Those are really so cool. These are, so, so there are unique enemies? Huh, okay, I did not know there were unique enemies and stuff to this. I mean, considering this is literally the, def the, the quote unquote definitive version of the game, I guess it would make sense they would have a few more bells and whistles than the uh, watered down version. I. Part of me does appreciate that they did something like that, though. I appreciate that they. That rather than make both versions kind of like, you know, a little more. Inf I appreciate that they went other way to create more or less a specialized version for a slightly weaker console rather than release an all-around weaker game on all consoles just to equalize the playing field, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, granted, in this, in this, like, back in, like, in these days, it was only really a matter of because trying to do the same thing that the PS3 and Xbox 360 do could, and put it on, like, the Wii or something, Depending on the how how far the game goes, can be next to impossible, which is why yeah. you get all these special those specialized ports in the first place. Now that's not to say that they were now. Yeah, I'm trying to say, a lot of the time it didn't really work out all that well because you get cases like Dead Rising, uh, Chop Till Drop, which despite having zombie poodles and parrots, was still kind of a watered down version of the original Dead Rising. Yeah. And then I mean, Sonic Unleashed is one of those cases where like. It still feels solid enough, despite the fact that there's a lot that was cut down. Yeah. In fact, honestly, honestly, that's kind of a thing. Um, I guess some people will call it an unpopular opinion. That's kind of a thing that I kind of have with the unleashed version as well, where it's like, I know a lot of people accuse the Wii version of being somewhat bare bones. I'm actually kind of on the opposite, where I think that in some cases the HD version's kind of overbloated, and I think the Wii version kind of made a few cuts out that were a really little necessary. I mean, yeah, me some too. Degrees, I'll agree, but uh, other than that, um, actually, what was, I, what was I about to actually bring up? I forgot. Shit. No. I'm sure it'll come back well, you, to you. Yeah. Well, you mentioned that, and oh, the, the warehog stage is just like is draining my. <laughs> The Warhog stage is just that that jazz. I can't escape it. Power. It's mind People numbing. Jazz. It's putting you to sleep. It's not okay. No, it, the, it is absolutely more like hands on, and the levels after, and they will add more and more to the levels to make them a bit more like here. You have to. I'm sorry, sir. Oh uh, yeah, one of the things worth mentioning is that the enemy variety is also not that great. Yeah. It's you'll have like different. They do the thing where like, oh, it's this one's a red. This was a red version of the exact same enemy, which means it's just well, generally I mean, tougher. And to be fair, like aside from like the various bandits in the two D games, has Sonic ever really had like any good enemy variety in, in at least the three D games? Um, I think it's uh, honestly, I think I think the the thing with um, those games is that like usually it's sort of like in this sort of thing, so you can sort of forget that there's not that much enemy variety in those games. Whereas here, like. The whole focus is literally being up and up in these these um, enemies' grills, so you're gonna have to see them whether you like it or not. And for the most part, that's all you really get. I get, yeah, I guess with what, yeah, I agree with what he's saying that it's like it's it's a matter of like screen time where like most enemies in a Sonic game are just poof like, and I they're think, just immediately gone. Like I think the only games I can think of that have that problem were at, honestly the th the two 3D games that came. Not the two, the three 3D games that came before this, which are like Heroes, Shadow, and um, 06. Although I think of a lot of them, I'd say Heroes is better about it because I feel like that at least had a little bit more of an effort to put a variety in their bad mix. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually curious. Hi, have we heard any recent like, uh, like updates from that one project that was trying to take Sonic the Dark Brotherhood and like do it back up again? Oh, yeah, um, that's fine. Um, they've been kind of working slow on it. Like, I think whenever... Our, I think they've been mostly, like, working on some of the 2D assets of it for the, at the moment. Oh. Like, I know they've been, like, redrawing from scratch a lot of, like, the, like, sprites for stuff. Like, you know how when you select a weapon, you get, like, a little picture of the weapon in, like, your inventory and whatnot? I know All that right. they've been redrawing those from scratch, and they've been, like, posting updates on that. Like, for example, all the various types of claws that Omega can, Omega can have and whatnot. Oh yeah. 
Uh, I forgot, were you able to be involved in that project anywhere? Because I know they were going to go with full-on, like, fan voice acting. I think... I don't think they were looking for any more actors. At least, as far as I know. Alrighty. Uh, I'm not too torn up about it, because I've heard, like, from what I've heard of it, uh, a couple of my friends actually are involved in it. Like, my friend Landy is voicing Sonic, and he has a pretty good... Like, his Sonic, I would say, it's kind of like a mix between Roger and Jason, in my opinion. Like, he has the tone of Roger, but the delivery... Uh, actually, I got that wrong. He has the tone of Jason, but the delivery of Roger, which I'm fine with. And just recently, my friend Kat got to be cast as Rouge in it, and she's probably one of my favorite fan Rouges. Oh yeah, she's amazing. Have you heard her voice? It's so deep! Yeah, basically... Well, uh, just to give you guys a recap, uh -oh. uh, she 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 voices Rouge in like this uh, short uh, dub I did uh, between her and Shadow. I, I can show it to you after the video. Okay. All right. Almost. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, this is also the first Sonic game to incorporate ring types aside from the usual one ring variety. Oh yeah. So oh, now you can right. pick up. Uh, you, now you can pick up a collection of ten. Or oh, 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 oh. Rude. Be careful. But yeah, uh, you can collect up to like 10 or so, and as you're also noticing here, uh, when we're playing as Sonic, uh, Werehog Sonic, we no, lo we no longer operate under rings per se, we now function under a life health bar. Hang on, yeah, I saw bar. some goodies yeah. down here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Good to see you saw ring. that one. Yeah, it's like, I believe rings can refill them, but for the most part, you, you just have to worry about it. it. Honestly, it's not dissimilar to like the health from like the mech stages in Adventure 2. Right, yeah. that's pretty much what they're going for. Oh, and uh, yes, rings, ring, normal rings can fill up. Oh, there's more of these flowers. These flowers remind me of Heartless for some reason. I can see them. They kind of look like Heartless, yeah. There's absolutely a flower Heartless in Game Watch 2 that does this as well. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I mentioned the... Uh, uh, normal rings can fill up the health bar, but they also introduced a special health ring pickup where it doesn't add to your ring count, but it does... Oh, jeez. It doesn't add to your ring count, but it does. In, it just increases your health a bit, like that one there, the green leaf yeah, in the middle. I think it's your max health. Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. We can. Uh, his max health. Uh, I want to say. Well, this is our. Well, so far this is our max health. I'm gonna be putting more uh, experience points into raising our health after this. That's fair. We're almost at the end. Oh, oh that. Oh, those. It's, oh, it's, the, oh, the those are claws. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, it's, it's, a it's, it's, it's a the beard trimmer up. extension. <laughs> the beard trimmer extension to give us an attack. Or, I'm never like, it. I remember, like, at a certain angle, they kind of look like flutes to me. What are they? Like what a are pan they like? Flute? Yeah, like kind of like a pan flute? flute. But, like, when you look at them from, like, the top down. Kinda. I think I can see where you're going with that, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, we my have goodness. A block puzzle. I don't think you're quite doing this right. Wait, what'd you say, You're right, I'm not. I was like, oh, goodness, that's because I saw like a shadow creeping in. I'm gonna go like get this real quick. Oh, oh, I mean, ow. That, that, ow. Oh. Hey! Uh, so, record players you can find and play. There's again a sound test, more or less. Okay, now I'm gonna do the puzzle. <laughs> because um, apparently, it still bugs me that sound tests are now just like unlockables. Well, so, I mean, sometimes it feels nice to work for, work for that kind of stuff. Right. So, come on. Eh, fine, whatever. So, uh, you can play records, but you have to buy a record player first. And just like I found a couple VHS tapes or videos, you need to buy a TV before you can do anything with that first. Remember when be Hey, kids, this is you want remember when videotapes were a thing? Mm. I actually completely for Yeah. I yeah. genuinely, like, forgot about the Ow. Ow. I have genuinely forgot about... I have Would not you believe VHS that they've been obsolete for almost, two de for almost two decades now? I remember a time when, after you're done with the video, you had to rewind, and you, there's nothing you do. You just had to wait for it to finish rewinding. For yeah, you to and, it took, and it took a while. I would so always I just play when it gets to the middle section. You just wouldn't go all the way back to the beginning? Well, here's the thing. Like, I was a weird kid back in the day, and sometimes, Clearly. out of habit, I would listen to it for a good while, and then I would just press play because I just want to watch the middle section. I mean, You're I've done freak. that a couple times. I've, I've done that a couple times. I would rewind and like watch a particular favorite part of the thing over and over again. Okay, that's that, fair. That should work, and then I'll lift this up, lift this up, just a smidgen. 
There, there's your puzzle solved. Congratulations. Ooh. Don't die now, otherwise you're gonna have to do this all over again. I swear to God. Yeah, I think that's happened to you far, far too many times to count. Once, which was already too many times than I cared to have to count. <laughs> yeah, just, again, shit like that can really accentuate the problem with these levels, and that, again, they can last way too long. Like, I mean, already, I think, I think this level's already just going... Okay, I was about to say it was at the 20 minute mark, but then again, we're already at the 20 minute mark of the video. So I'd say maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. Uh, Which, I mean, I if, 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 that's like the absolute, like, most I could really tolerate before it starts getting obnoxious. I can, again, I can at least give it the benefit of the doubt that, oh, okay, cool, shield over there. I can at least still give it the benefit of the doubt that, like, at least, like, it's not Sonic gameplay, it's not typical Sonic gameplay, like, Sonic 06 you would have levels that could last 15 minutes, even though you're going as fast as you possibly can just because of how, like, convoluted the level was. Here, I understand why it could take a little bit longer, you're moving a little bit slower, and the gameplay is meant to be more of a slow burn. Okay, are they all dead? Nope, not yet. Again, I just think, if, if, as far as the Werehog stuff is concerned, I just would have much more preferred if they if they just went full on, I don't know, Tomb Raider or, um... You know what, now that I stop and think about it, a part of me would, like, a part of me thinks, like, they could have basically made them speed-centric levels, kind of like what we already got, but, like, on a, like something a little more, you know, comprehensible. Instead of just blazing, just blazing, don't give a shit about where you're going sort of gameplay. Right. And half. There. The level's Don't get over. too excited, Sonic. Those were the easy ones. He's and like I said not. before... <laughs> what the oh heck God. is wrong with his face? Yeah, it's just a nebulation glitch. We got an A rank. Hooray. It's not going to be this bad, I promise. It's just for this <laughs> bit here that had that, that, that was all happened. Okay, we got the goodies. Let's turn on the power-ups. No time to think about it. <sighs> it's like you know, he buried his face in the dirt. You know, I'm not sure... I already dread dread what my what my dentist is gonna say when when he comes come, when I come in looking like this. You have a dentist? Yeah. Actually, what is a dentist? Find out in the next part. Till next time, everybody. Bye. They all sound tasty. <laughs>